Whose song is that? What? That's Carol King's, and and uh, and he goes, that's a hit, that's a hit, you know. Well, then a matter like of that. like two days, we went and recorded it. Well, they had you had the studio in your house still. Yeah, we still point. had had our our studio at home. Matter of fact, that's do it again. That was cut there at that studio there too. Uh, at, at, at yeah. Home. And anyway, you know, so we put United Artists put it out, and um, <laughs> Brian, we were waiting. So much, so much of your legend is connected to the West Coast and California. Do you have any impressions of New York? Are you happy to be well, here? Is it making well, you crazy? The only really impression I have is the food. Out, you know, I love the food here, and uh, and uh, I'll see the maids. The maids are interesting. <laughs> it, uh, that work at but, the American. <laughs> but they, they'll get you in trouble. You see, they I mean, get you busted every time. <laughs> you know? So, uh, but uh, no, I think really, uh, obviously, the buildings have to be the most awesome thing. In the world, for me, you know. And you're doing a lot of walking. Yeah. You're doing more walking, I think, than it's been in the last year. Yeah, yeah my feet are killing me. My legs, <laughs> my stomach. i got to get loose some weight, you know. So we walk up and down the street, you know. Go to and, the zoo. Uh, went to see these gorillas yesterday. Fantastic-looking gorillas. I couldn't believe it. You, you tell them about the gorillas. <laughs> they, just, they were really fascinating, you know, because somebody threw them some gum or something. Uh-huh. And, you know, they chew it, and then all of a sudden they'll pull it out. The gorilla pullers who go two feet pull that gum way out for two straight it's, feet, it's you know. It's really amazing. So today we saw Patty kicked. Patty oh. kicked a kid. Right. Broke That's his a arm. Big, big story. So yeah. we want to go, um, yeah. There's some She's Patty kicked. No, they just put her back each today. She right. broke her arm, I think. They sent her to Bronx Zoo, and then now she's back. We're going to go see her. Right. But, um, no, um, but this here record here, I, I, said, I don't mean to say I'll eat my, I'll eat my app. You if would. I had a hat, I'd eat it. If that record doesn't <laughs> really get some kind of you action. Mean shine away. I'm talking about shine away. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll play the flip side first, which is uh, a Dennis Wilson composition. Right, my brother. By American Spring. This is called Falling in Love. That's very pretty. Dennis wrote that. It's called Falling in Love by American Spring. You changed the name just a little bit from Spring to American Spring. Any any reason? Yeah, for they it? had to. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Um, while whilst we were in uh, England over in Europe. We ran into a problem. Another group had a, uh, the name Spring over there, too. The Guy Rock Group. Yeah, the Guy Rock Group. So uh, they apparently found out and uh, threatened to sue Spring if they did not change their name. Ah. So they had attack American onto it. Uh-huh. You know, that was the story behind that. So right. we, we decided to um, just keep it level in right. America and... Uh, and in Europe, too. That avoids the because conflict. If they, you know, spring came to America, they would have to do something, you know, to learn English, spring, English, whatever. Brian, are you, are you working all the time, composing, producing? Uh, uh, no, not as of lately. I haven't I've been really been working. Uh, uh, I've been promoting, I think I could say, more than working. I, I'm, I'm promoting now. And, well, not really a promotion, man, but I, I mean promotion in the sense, trying to to get something happening with these records uh, because, you know, I mean, once we get one record going, then I know we get others too, you know, and and that's the main thing is cracking that nut, you know, it's so hard, you know, for for, for new artists to, to get going. How do you, you know, feel, sometimes. how do you feel about the uh, new excitement and acceptance of uh, the Beach Boys and the things that they're doing currently? Well, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of the performances that uh, they do um, apparently go over great, you know, live performances. Yeah, the performances, right. but uh, the records aren't selling. Our, our Beach Boy records aren't really, aren't moving like they used to, you know, so this is why I've gone to spring. I tried something new because I feel that, you know, do you feel that there's you're a new kind of uh, thing happening with spring? And I, my wife sings great, I think, you know, Marilyn. In fact, you cued Mama set up and she, she chose that song herself. Or I guess Diane chose it, but... Uh- but no, the Beach Boy records haven't been selling, you know, like oh. they used to. But I still feel that they, they make great records. You know, most of the records are now produced by Carl. You know, yeah. Uh, there seemed to have been a point in in the career of the group where you gave up the reins of control. Yeah. Is that true? That is true. Yes. What was the reasoning? What was the? Uh... Well, the uh, I don't know. I just really don't know. But uh, mainly other interests, like for instance, Marilyn and Diana, uh-huh. to uh, try to get into something new so that the guys can carry the ball for a while and so I can see a new project bust open, you know. I, I, right. I want to see I new artists it. make it. And I, uh, I couldn't, I can't really, you know, um, spread that thin. I, I've only got one other act beside the group that, you know, I work with. But here's an act. I, I mean, like the record you have cued, is that? Well, we're, we're doing away something from the first. Mama said. Yeah. Well, this album here that we produced over at the house was and still could be, you know, a, a very big album. The main thing was the promotional technique of UA just didn't didn't work for us. 
we took it on the chin, you know, but... Uh, it's hard, you know, you, it's... I don't know, I don't think you could say, you know... We know that Brian's behind us, and I mean, that doesn't mean, you know, we wouldn't want anyone to think that he doesn't work with the Beach Boys or anything. Right. You know, which he still does. It, you know, if he comes up with something, you know, he's always there. They know he's always there. And it's just, I think within the past years... Um, I've been allowed freedom, too, from the guys well, to work. Right. I've been given freedom to work with the group. Right, and, and, now. and they've like, all evolved. I mean, well, it's all evolved, yeah. except, you know, like, we've been... The situation with us is that everything has... <laughs> Pointing, Pardon me. He's pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> I was adjusting the mic. You know, like, we've we've really been carrying the ball by ourselves. Like, Brian's, you know, everything's been on his shoulder. You uh -huh. know, and, like, people know he doesn't do interviews and he, he doesn't do this. But um, it's, I guess it got to the point where all of a sudden, I guess maybe he just fe finally feels that, you know, if he doesn't do anything, then, you know, whatever. So let's, let's do something from the first spring album. Marilyn okay. doing lead here yeah. on Mama Said. A spring from the first album and a remake of Mama Said. It's 10 before noon. Pete Fornitau with WNEW FM in New York talking to Brian Wilson and Diane Ravel. Brian, do you, do you miss performing? Do you have any desires to get back up on stage? No, I. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, I can't now because um, I have what you call a gut problem. With the old gut, I weigh 230 pounds at the moment, and that's quite a lot for me. You know, I usually weigh about 210. Uh -huh. And uh, so, no. I really don't miss that end of it, you know. Uh, what I do miss is, is, is our successful recordings, you know. I do miss the feeling of having a, a good chart record, uh -huh. you know. And uh, this record, Shine Away, which we produced, uh, you know, with Spring, American Spring. I, I'm gonna, I don't like to hype, and I never really was a hypo. You know, I didn't really hype uh, throughout my career. But I, I, this is a, a time when I, I think a hype is needed, because airplay these days is really tough. It's hard to get airplay on ra radio, and I'm not on a, uh, you know, a complaining kind of trip, but I really just don't understand why records like Shine Away don't sell, you know. And, uh, uh, if I could urge, you know, anybody listening to a show like this to give a record like Shine Away a listen, you know, and, and buy it if you like it, and then you might want to buy more from the same group, you know. I guess it's a fair enough hype, isn't it? <laughs> well, I mean, you know. Sounds fair to me. Please buy it. That's all I can say. <laughs> please buy Shine that's, Away. That sums it up. Brian, okay. I, I cannot tell you what a pleasure it was meeting you. I hope okay. under uh, under more prepared circumstances that you will yeah. come back and maybe we can do like a, a four-hour thing just uh, picking each other's brains. I'd really appreciate well, my, that. Okay. So, and, uh, Next time we'll bring Marilyn. Great. And like we were saying before, my group at this time for the last two years has been American Spring. And, <laughs> and, and I... I, I 100% behind uh, them. I'm, we've got a lot of dates lined up. The Sullivan Show's lined up. No, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, no. There's no more Sullivan. No. Now, now. <laughs> Diane. This is Thanks. what people don't know, that he's got a great sense of humor. really does. Diane. <laughs> Thank you for bringing him here. And good luck with American Spring. <laughs> I'm shying away. <laughs>